Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So given this random graph, what is the distance traveled between time equals 2 and time equals 4? Okay, so uh, press pause and, uh, and have a go. So uh, time equals 2 and time equals 4. Uh, uh, picture the three graphs, uh, acceleration time graph, uh, speed time graph, and your distance time graph. I've given you the speed time graph. I've given you this. And if you want to know the the uh, the grade, uh, if if you want to know the acceleration, then you've got to look at the gradient. If you want to know the uh, the distance, you've got to look at the area underneath the graph. Well, in this case here, you've been given the speed time graph. If you want to know the distance, then it's the area underneath the the speed time graph that tells you the distance travelled. Okay. In this case, we want to know the distance. So we we are uh well we well we we've got to work out the the area underneath the graph. So here at time equals 2, that's here, and then uh, time equals 4, that's here. So we want to work out the, you see the area here represents the distance traveled between time equals 2 and time equals 4. So the area would be, well somehow work out the area here. Maybe you can split this up like this. So uh, this, this area here is 4, and then the height here is 3, the across here is 2. So this times 2 here would be 6, and then divided by 2 because it's a triangle here. Um, so, um, so that equals 3. So uh, this here is 4, this triangle here is 3, so the total area would be 7. The, the, the total area here, use whichever method you want. Um, the area here is 7, so that means the distance traveled would be uh, 7 meters. Okay. Next one, given this random graph, what is the distance traveled between time equals 6 and time equals 8? So 6, 8. What is the, uh, what is the distance traveled? Okay. So, uh, press pause and, uh, and have a go. Okay. So, uh, we've pictured the three graphs. Uh, the one that was given to you here would be the distance time graph. You've been given this graph to play with. Um, but the thing is, you've been given a distance time graph and you're, you're being asked about the distance. So distance time graph and you're being asked about the distance. So, so it's just a matter of straight reading. So the straight reading here is, uh, well, 6 and 8 here, the, between time 6 and 8 here. So, so uh, well, currently the car here, Im imagine this. So, this. so this is start here. This, this flag is your start. After 6 seconds, the car is 2 meters away. So uh, after six seconds, the car is uh, the car here is two meters away, okay. And then uh, uh, and then uh, and then seven uh, seven seconds, eight seconds later, the car is is um, uh, is is the car is five meters away. So the car here is five meters away. So well, the um, the the uh, the distance traveled here. It's really a straight reading. So, so cut, when, when it's at six seconds, it's two meters away. When it, after eight seconds, um, it's, uh, five meters away. So the distance traveled is, is really this gap here, which is three. Because if you think of it, if you think about it, after six seconds, the car is two meters away. Okay. After six, the car is two meters away. After eight seconds, the car is, the car is Five meters away, so this length here is five. So, um, so the distance traveled between uh, six seconds and eight seconds is the gap in between the two here, which is three. Well, it's a straight reading. It's really, it's really this. Take away this, okay? Uh, this take away the five. So, so the answer is uh, three meters. It's just a, it's just a matter of uh, straight reading. It, it is, it is this vertical gap here. So because you've been given the distance time graph and you're being asked about the distance. So it's a matter of straight reading. Well anyway, next one here. Given this random graph here, work out the, the speed at time equals nine. Okay. So uh press pause and have a go. Okay, so um so you the picture the three graphs in your mind, you've been given the speed time graph. You've been given this middle graph here and and uh, and the speed at time equals nine. Well, at time equals nine. Well, you've been given the speed time graph. You've been given the speed time graph, and you're you're being asked about the speed. So again, it's a matter of straight reading. The speed here at time equals nine 
is 5. Okay, so the answer is 5 meters per second. Okay, alright, so uh, next one here. Given this random graph, uh, what is the speed at time equals um, uh, at time equals 5? Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, this one here, picture the three graphs, you picture the acceleration time graph, uh, speed time graph, and the distance time graph in your mind. But uh, you've been given distance time graph. So you've been given this graph here, and you're being asked about the speed. And you're being asked about the speed. So you know you, you know that when, when given this distance time graph, the gradient represents the, uh, the speed. When given the speed time graph, the gradient represents the acceleration. Well, you've been given the distance time graph, and you want to know the speed. So you want to know the gradient. Well, remember, the gradient of the distance time graph represents speed. So here you want to know the speed. So therefore, you well you've been given the distance time graph. So you want to work out the, the gradient at time equals five. So so when given the distance time graph, if you want to know the speed, then then work out the uh, the gradient. Okay, the gradient of the distance time graph represents the speed. So here the gradient at t equals five will represent the speed. So the gradient here would represent the speed. Well, the gradient here is zero. So, um, so well, the gradient here is really the steepness of this thing here. The steepness of this thing here is zero. So the so the speed here is uh, zero meters per second. Okay, and it, and if you think about it, you've been given the speed time graph. What that means is, imagine your car here. Um, uh, the uh, uh, um, uh, sorry, sorry. I, I, imagine, imagine, uh, imagine your your start here. So this flag here is your start. Um, so what it means is that the car af after zero second, um, it's three meters away. So so you can so this flag here is your start is your zero here. Uh, at at time equals one, the car is three meters away. So the car is uh, the car is three meters away. Okay. At time equals uh, let's say two, the car is still three meters away. At time equals three, the car is still three meters away. At time equals uh, four, the car is still three meters away. At time equals six, the car is, the point here is that the car is not really moving. It's just that it's, it's three meters away right from the beginning. Well, what is the speed at time equals five? Well, the car's not moving. It's still, it's always three, three meters away. So, um, so the speed here will be, will be zero. Okay.